Warren, Los Angeles. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Warren. Thanks for hanging on. How are you doing today, Leo? I am great. How are you? Good. I've got two questions for your counsel, if I can. Sure. First question is, I'm getting ready to buy a new laptop, and I'm looking at the Dell, the XPS. Mm. And, Leo, they, they talk about there's a non-touch screen and there's a touch screen. Right. And I'm not smart enough to know what's the difference <laughs> benefit of the touch screen versus the non-touch screen? I mean, this all started because in 2010, Apple introduced the iPad, and at that time, it was a huge success. And people said, oh, you know, if you can touch the screen of a computer, it's so much more intuitive than if you have to use a mouse to click on pieces. You can scroll with your finger. You can paint. You can draw and so forth. And Microsoft looked over their shoulder at Apple and its success of the iPad, and they said, we got to get us some of that. So they came out with Windows 8, which confused the heck out of everybody because they took Microsoft's You've ever used Windows, Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows NT, Windows 95. You used every, you did the mouse and maybe the keyboard, but you never touched the screen. So all of a sudden in Windows 8, they, have, they changed everything. They changed the look and feel because if you're going to touch things, it can't be little tiny X's and dots. They have to be big tiles. So they had, added tiles and they made it very tablety and people hated it. So they put out Windows 8.1, which backed down a little bit. They got, had gotten rid of the start menu. People said, well, I want the start menu. That's how I use it. Oh, but the start menu is not good for touch. And finally, they realized people maybe aren't as all in on touch on the desktop as they are on tablets. And then, by the way, the iPad sales started to tank. So Microsoft released Windows 10, which has touch, but doesn't have to have touch. So it's kind of what you want. If you like touching the screen and big icons and scrolling with your finger get a touch screen but windows 10 works just fine with mouse and keyboard and that's how i prefer it leo laporte the tech guy leo laporte the tech guy 8888 ask leo and that's the phone number usually a touch screen we we're talking about whether you should buy a touch screen or not usually a touch screen costs more often though they're better screens i mean you're spending more money for the touch capability but People figure, well, we're going to build that in. We might as well give you a better screen. So sometimes the touch screens are the better screens. In Dell's case with the XPS, for instance, they're higher res screens. So in addition to touch, you get a better quality, higher resolution screen. Uh, if that matters, I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I often say if you're going to buy a Windows 10 machine and you don't know if you can afford touch, get touch, only because you may find that that's, you know, you, you like using it that way. And there's some advantages to touch. I have Microsoft's Surface Book, which not only is a touch screen, but comes with a pen. And then if you're an artist, you can draw. It has, you know, multiple pressure sensitivities, so you can push harder, and it's a fatter line, thinner, and it's a thinner line if you press less hard. And so there's, a, you know, there's advantages to it. Crossword puzzles are great on touch. Kind of more natural way to do it. I just don't, I don't, you know, it's a personal decision. It's up to you. You will pay more for a touch screen. If you don't think you use touch, if you were very happy with Windows 7, for instance, touch doesn't really send you, I wouldn't bother. Now, if you're buying a Chromebook, this is a little different. Chromebooks also come in touch and non-touch flavors. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to get a touch screen. Again, because the screens are better, usually, when you get a touch screen, but also... Google has announced that they're going to put the Android Play Store on Chrome OS. And, of course, all Android apps are very touch-focused, as are all smartphone apps. So if you're using a Chromebook, all of a sudden touch might become very important. You, you'll be able to use those touch apps with just a mouse. They're going to have a way of doing that. But it won't be as convenient. So if you think you're going to use Chrome OS and you think you're going to put Android apps on your Chrome OS, which will be available in a couple of months, get a touch screen on the Chrome OS.